Hello beautiful blockchain people, that's me again at CryptoSpine, this is my next cryptocurrency market overlook. So let's start, let's have a look at the prices of the major cryptocurrencies according to the site of CoinGecko. And as we see the market has recorded a small price change, let's say for the last 24 hours, that's why I would say that most of the major cryptocurrencies, they are consolidating after the solid price increase. And as we see, Bitcoin is back above the psychological level of $50,000 per one digital coin. And I want to say that today, I won't analyze the price chart of any cryptocurrency in detail. I will just mention some interesting news articles, etc. So the first thing I want to mention is that the Bitcoin hash rate is uh, recovering. We know that because of the China crackdown on miners, the hash rate experienced solid decline earlier this year actually it was in may and in june now we see that the hash rate is recovering and if we have a look at the last six months this was the decline that started in may and in june and now the hash rate is recovering and i think that we have relatively good levels already so this is good for the ecosystem of bitcoin uh 160 exa hash per second is the current hash rate now, the next thing I want to mention is let me open one Twitter account. So we know that El Salvador is going to uh, accept Bitcoin as a legal tender. It will be to, it, uh, the official date, let's start, is tomorrow. So September 6th. So some accounts, they are counting down all of the remaining days until Bitcoin becomes legal tender in El Salvador. This is something interesting. Uh, let's see what happens in the next few days. As we see some people, they started to pay for their coffees and etc. by Bitcoin. So this is cool. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is that this week I've, I've been reading on a regular basis, not only this week, the news. And I see that many popular, let's say, media outlets are shilling NFTs. For example, it seems that they have interest in shilling NFTs. Because if you check Decrypt, for example, I follow this uh, really nice crypto-related uh, me media outlet. And this is their initial page. And this is not only today, it's on a regular basis recently. Let's have a look at some of the news. NFT, this one. NFT, this one, NFT, this one, CryptoPunk zombie sells, and we know that this is one of the most popular uh, NFTs nowadays. So I want to say that if we check the news of some uh, media outlets, they continue to talk about NFTs and they criticize, for example, some other, uh, here you can see once again NFT, and they criticize, for example, some cryptocurrencies. So Definitely, I understand that the social media outlets that are centralized, they are shilling some certain, let's say, uh, cryptos because probably they are interested in it. So that's that's what I wanted to say. So probably if I see that many more media outlets start to do the same, probably I will stop to read them because it's boring. And the most interesting thing that I have found recently among all this news is an article on Coin Telegraph with a very uh, catchy, let's say, uh, title: "Traders know not to go long when this classic trade trading pattern shows up." So let's have a look at this pattern. So this is actually the pattern is a descending channel, so a sequence sequence of a, a local a descending local highs and descending local lows. So I want to say that I want to, I wanted to mention this article today because usually on a daily basis when I conduct this technical analysis and we analyze the chart, I talk about this ascending local lows and ascending local highs and descending local highs and descending local lows when we have, for example, uptrend and uh, downtrend. So this is a typical downtrend. So here in this article, you can read that they also say that within this downtrend, it's uh, not wise to open long positions and uh, here they explain how to trade the exit from this descending channel for example if it is a bullish flag 
bull flag. So you know that I talk about this bull flag and or bullish flag or common trend continuation patterns on a regular basis. So they say take care to not mix a bull flag and descending channel or downtrends. So it's really a nice article. And I want to say that uh, sometimes when uh, there is no interesting news, you can find such kind of, let's say, examples explaining how to uh, trade some charts. So I want to mention that tomorrow on Monday we will analyze the price chart of Bitcoin. And of course, uh, you, you know that on a regular basis on Mondays I analyze the price chart of Bitcoin. So we will have a look at this descending and ascending channel. So, so that's it for today, fellas. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your point of view on the cryptocurrency market as a comment below. Of course, I wish you a very wonderful day. Good luck in the financial markets. And I hope to see you in the next one. It was me again at CryptoSpan.